Hey, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a GA4 funnel exploration report and an awesome shortcut for WooCommerce and easy digital download users. A funnel exploration report is a visual report that shows you how visitors navigate through a funnel on your website, including where they abandon it. You can analyze any funnel on your site, including e-commerce purchases, signups, and donations, and you can use that information to improve your website and grow your business. All right, now let's look at how we can build a funnel exploration report. So let's just head over to the Google Analytics account and then click on Explore. Then click on the blank option. Now, while Google will provide you with a funnel exploration template, it's best to create a custom funnel that's tailored to your website. The pre-made template has a bunch of settings that might not even be relevant to your site. So what we're going to do is we're going to give our report a name and then we'll choose a date span. And then we're going to choose Funnel Exploration from the Technique dropdown. Okay, next, we're going to build out the steps of the funnel. So to do that, just click on the pencil icon in the Steps box. Now, on the Step Building screen, you're going to see that you can give your step a name, you can add a condition, and add another step. The summary card over here on the right of the screen is going to show you how many of your users are going to be included in the funnel as you build it. Now, that is a handy way to make sure that your funnel is error free. The add new condition option in a funnel report can be a bit much for beginners, but it's really powerful for building complex funnels. There are two ways that you can build a funnel for an e-commerce store. You can use events like view item, add to cart and purchase, or you can just use the page URLs that follow the exact steps of the checkout process. Now, if you have a simple checkout, well, then using page URLs might be the best option because it's easy to set up and track. However, if the checkout process is just a bit more complex, then using events might be the better option since it allows you to track more specific data, such as which pages users are visiting and which products that they're adding to their cart. Ultimately, the best way is to choose which method that is best for you. Now let's take a look at how the e-commerce funnel steps would look if we used events. We're going to start with view item in step one, and then add to cart in step two and then purchase in step three. And this is going to result in this number of users after applying the funnel to the export date range. So now after we click apply, we can get the e-commerce funnel report. At each step, you can see how many users completed the step and how many users abandoned your funnel at that point. All right, now let's review Google's example, and that way we can get an idea of what's really possible with the funnel report. So let's head back to the exploration tab and then click on Funnel Exploration. Now you're going to see a report that's made automatically. Notice how they have Device Category in the breakdown box. That makes the funnel show the device category for each step. Now that's super useful for seeing how traffic from each device is navigating your site. Does one have much larger abandonment rate than the other? Maybe those users are finding it difficult or confusing to navigate your website. They also have preloaded segments in the report. So try dragging two of them into the segment comparisons box to see how that changes the report. Funnel reports are a great way to see how your users are interacting with your website or your app. You can use them to track how many people are taking certain actions, signing up for your newsletter, or making a purchase. There are a lot of different ways to build funnel reports. So experiment and find the ones that work the best for you. If you're a WordPress and WooCommerce or Easy Digital Download user, there's a much easier way to see e-commerce funnel reports. All you have to do is install Monster Insights and we'll make one for you. Monster Insights lets you easily connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics so you can view all the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. Plus, with a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features too, such as event tracking, e-commerce tracking, user journey tracking, form tracking, custom dimensions, outbound link tracking, and a lot more. Now, once you have Monster Insights Pro installed and activated on your site, it's going to automatically create e-commerce funnel reports for you right inside your dashboard. If you'd like more details, be sure to check out the link in the description to our guide on adding Google Analytics to WordPress. And there you have it. That's how you create a GA4 funnel exploration report. We hope that you found it helpful. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for more details. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time. See your Google Analytics data in WordPress with Monster Insights. Get 50% off right now and subscribe for more helpful content like this.